My name is Oliver Solero and my alter ego is Broken Tooth. I'm from a little town in the middle of nowhere, about two and a half hours north of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. What you're looking at here is a bit of unobtainium. Uh, I think there might actually be only one other of this motorcycle in the United States. It is a CCM GP450. And what I've done is I've taken a KTM 450 snow bike track kit and turned a kitchen table upside down, cut the original subframe off of this and welded up the table legs to it so that I could graft it onto the CCM. Because in 2016, there was a rather major rail line flood in Northern Manitoba. Rumor had it that because they were unable to provide food for some of the mushing dogs up there, there were some dark stories floating around of some of the mushers having to have to put their dogs down. So I built this unit here so that I could haul a thousand pounds worth of donated dog food up there. And as a result, they gave me a little pup who is three quarter husky, a quarter greyhound and a hundred percent full but he's worth every minute of it. <laughs> I spent a good solid month out on the Arctic tundra hauling dog food back and forth uh, along that abandoned rail line, or I should say that flooded rail line. Um, and there was a moment at the end where in, in Northern Manitoba, the Northern lights are off the charts. The Aurora Borealis are, the, the, you don't see them anywhere else on the planet like that. The two of us sat there at three o'clock in the morning and just spent four hours just staring at the sky, mesmerized by the electricity that was going on above us. Uh, back in 2015, I took a shot at taking this bike up onto the world's longest ice road, which is the Wapusk Trail on the southern edge of western Hudson's Bay. At the time, the part of the, uh, the, the world where it's situated was in the grips of the polar vortex, so I saw sustained temperatures of minus 40 to actually minus 50 at night. And with this little disposable beast of a motorcycle that I picked up for 1200 bucks, I managed to uh, pull off what I think might actually be a Guinness record attempt at making the entire length of the Wapus Trail. The only modifications we've done to this is put a dual battery setup, a snowmobile primer, and drill the hole in the air box for a shot of ether, and that's it. And with that setup and a sterno can lit under the motor, I can reliably fire this thing up at minus 40 degrees. Uh, I'm, I'm just a blue collar grunt mechanic making 19 bucks an hour in, in Ontario, Canada and I scratch together a little bit of uh, money here and there to take these trips. But that being said, if you've got a coffee in your hand and you're bored out of your skull, just Google Broken Tooth Ice Road Biker and it, you'll find something on some of the, the nutty stuff that I've done in the Arctic.